Sure. Well, there's a lot of different varieties of Herichthys. Uh, first of all, they are uh, one of the most northern uh, groups of cichlids. The, the uh, tropical zone pretty much uh, stops around Veracruz, but then between Texas and Veracruz and Mexico, the tropical and temperate zones overlap. So, especially down in the Tampico area, you have things like bluegill and bass all the way down around Tampico, and then you have the Herichthys going all the way up into Texas. So that area is extremely diverse with both tropical and temperate species. So you got Cyanogutatus up in Texas, and then right after that, around the border, you start getting into the Carpentus types, and the difference between those is really the size of the spots and the number of spots. The Cyanogutatus types have a lot of tiny white dots on them, and they're not very blue or turquoise, really. Uh, when you get a little bit further south, the spots get bigger and you start getting that nice green turquoise variety of fish. And there you get just as much diversity and it's the diversity is mainly based on the watersheds. It, as you go along, you come into different rivers and areas where the fish are isolated from each other over long periods of time. And of course, you might get occasional mixing like anywhere else, but because they're in different watersheds, they start to develop in different ways, they eat different foods, they interact with other kinds of fish, and so they become basically their own species. And even though there's really only Carpentus there now, there is a Carpentus-like fish in Quattro Cienegus that is definitely going to be described as its own species. In the Tampico Basin itself, uh, you have uh, the type locality of Carpentus uh, being gone. It, it was a, a, actually a, a pool in the center of the city that's dry now. Uh, but around it in the lagoons, you find it with uh, the other major herichthys in that area, the, the Pantostichrus labradans group types, uh, like white labs, yellow labs, blue labs, Pantostichrus. So these are sort of like uh, evolved with each other in that whole area. Uh, there's a green Carpentus that is in a tributary off of the uh, uh, Panuco River in the Tampico Basin that uh, is with a green labradans. Uh, then as you go further south, there's this thing called Escondido, and I'm not personally familiar with this, uh, but I, there's also the, another one that Don, um, Don Danko uh, spread around a lot called the, the Turquoise uh, Carpentis, which has uh, almost got, got a mottled appearance instead of spots. The spots sort of blend together. And then as you go a little bit further south, you run into another species, probably the most, the most southern one in that group called Depi. And Depi is an old species that was uh, sort of lost to the hobby for a long time. It's not that uncommon in the wild, but you have to go pretty far up, up into the hills to find it. And uh, that's true with a lot of these fish now, uh, although there are some lagoons around Tampico that still have fish in them. Most of those coastal rivers are fairly polluted, and the, the, you don't find that many fish down in the lowlands as a result because of the banana plantations, the sugarcane fields, and stuff like that. And just in general industrial pollution, you've got to go up into the hills to find these fish nowadays.